the hell's going on over here? Oh, Frank's trying to kill himself. Oh, my God. Is he all right? Frank, are you all right? Don't try to stop me. Oh, my God. Oh, so he's alive. I lost all my money at Ponzi scheme, Charlie. I'm broke. His neck is so thick. I feel like he's just going to swing and dangle around for a yeah, really long time. That's what it is. That's, that's what it is. Oh, no, 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 Frank, it's me. not going to work for you. Your yeah, neck's too thick, buddy. Tie a chair to me. Tie a chair to me. Time's tough, huh? Shit. Very nice performance, very nice and clean performance. Welcome, welcome to our legitimate show of kids. A very, very, very nice. Which one of these talented uh, entertainers who I am not attracted to at all will be the winner? I'm not attracted to any of them, none of them. And that's the way it is. Anyway, everybody put your hands together and clap for the kids, clap, clap. And you wave goodbye. Wave, wave goodbye. Go to your dressing room. We're going to start the show. Go on. It's okay, just don't touch. Go to there. Go on to the, their dressing room. Over there on that side of the stage, I am going to my dressing room. We will be right back. I'm over here. He came at the right time. Is he sleeping? Yes. He's sleeping right over there. Just the way you like him. Did you bring the toll? Confound your lousy toll, troll. <laughs> God damn it. Stop laughing at me. You gotta pay the troll toll. If you wanna get into that boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. You want the baby boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. Troll toll. What'd you say? Troll toll. Here's your toll, troll. With us today is Frank Reynolds, local business owner and a man with a harrowing story. That's right. A few days ago, three thugs tried to mug me. Now, I want to be very clear about something. Um, Mr. These pieces of garbage, you don't know who Mr. the hell Reynolds, they're dealing with. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you think maybe you could eat that sandwich later? I'm starving. Uh, you have yes. nothing to eat in this show. Let's get back right, to Right, so, so these punks. Yes. I don't know if they wanted money mm -hmm. or they wanted something more sexual. Wow. But it's a lucky thing I had my pieces. Your, your pieces? My guns. Oh. Wow. I, anyway, I started blasting. Bang! Wow. Bang! Well, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after them. Okay. Bang! Try to shoot them in the back. But I don't want so good either. Anyway, you guys all think I'm a hero, and I'll accept that responsibility. Hello! Hello? Ongo Goblogian, the art collector. Charmed, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to invite you to a show. Okay. But first, allow me to destroy your gallery. Oh. Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. That I love. I absolutely love. Um, that's just the air conditioner. I want it. It's everything. I mean, look at us. We're just air conditioners. I mean, after all, we're yeah. just walking around on the planet, breathing, conditioning the air. Mm. I condition it hot. That conditions it cold. I mean, it's symbiotic. No? no it I mean, is. we're just yeah. the air conditioners walking around on this planet, screwing each other's brains out. Hey, right, Frank, here's another idea. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd you come from? I've been walking next to you the entire time. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little uh, lit. And uh, I've been going over this thing. I'm trying to figure out how, how to, to bang on. Donna. I know, you've been talking about it for the last five miles. You know what, dude, it doesn't matter. I got a better idea. I think you should bang Gail the Snail. My niece? Yeah. Gail the Snail? Yeah, dude, what's more depraved than that, huh? Plus, you're not blood related, so it's not that weird. <clears throat> That is a good idea. I like the way you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> What's in it for you? Huh? <laughs> What's Jesus. in it for you? Don't worry about what's in it for me, dude. <laughs> my God, you are disgusting. A disgusting animal. <laughs> this yeah, is bad. 
Uh, we got to definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. Do not diddle kids. It's no good diddling kids. There is no quicker way for people to think that you are diddling kids than by writing a song about it. You got to write a song. It's just a, ooh, I wouldn't do it with anybody younger than my daughter. No, little kids got to be big. Older than my wife, younger than my daughter, something like that. I uh, want to invite you to a, a wrestling match. Oh, and, uh, the, the Guys, we all chipped in to get you these. Uh, uh, this is a coming home present. Yeah. There you go. And thank you for your service. Hey, kid. What's happening? What is it? Sorry, sir. The darn thing won't print. You mind if I take a look-see? Oh, no. I think it's a paper jam. Man, there's the culprit. Thanks, Mr. Warthog. Oh, damn, it was in the tray three that you didn't check. <laughs> it just was hiding back there. It was like a little piece of paper. <laughs> let me, well, let me ask you a question. Did I just do your job for you? Excuse me? Did I, did I just do your job for you? Uh, uh, I guess so. You're fired. Get the hell out of here. Go on, pack your shit up and get out of here. If we're gonna turn this company around, we gotta start cutting the crust off this shit sandwich. You hear that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we're on the Schuylkill River, and uh, it's home to many uh, weird fish-like creatures, and also the depository of uh, all of the unsolved crimes and murders in Philadelphia. And Charlie and I, we go down the sewer, and first thing we do is to preserve our clothes. We take take our clothes off. We get totally naked because you don't want to get wet. We ball our clothes up. We stick them up someplace high. There's this waitress who Charlie's in love with, and uh, I banged her. Charlie got really upset when I banged the waitress. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. She was a nice piece of ass. We don't know who you're talking about. Charlie, he's my buddy. We sleep together. We hang out together. Once I pooped in the bed. I blamed it on him. <laughs> One time the guys got hooked on crack. It was really crazy. Well, they found a baby in a dumpster. They wanted to make some money with the baby, but nobody would buy the baby because it was white. They sort of had to turn it brown. We were fighting over the sword, and just about when we were about to hit each other with the sword, social services came in. We thought we were killing the baby. <laughs> I, I don't understand this talk. Charlie wrote this musical. Oh, man, it was really funny. I play a troll on the musical. A troll? Yeah, and it's called The Night Man Cometh. I can sing you my song if you like. Uh, oh, man. You got you to gotta pay the troll toll to get into this boy's hole. Oh, yeah, I kept saying. Yeah, I pay to get in. I was saying, uh, soul. He was saying, I, he thought I was saying, boy's hole. One of the things I like doing most is banging whores. I, uh... I go out and bang a lot of whores. Okay, good. I'm here. Oh, what on earth did you do to your face? I had it done at a funeral home. Why? 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 Well, where the hell am I going to go? To the goddamn makeup counter at Macy's? <laughs> you go to a funeral home to get gruesome repairs. Look. You look like you're at your own wake. Frank. Frank, I need some water. My mouth is dry. Your mouth is dry. Go into the toilet and run your mouth under the sink. OK. Yeah, can I? Could I? Yeah, yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. I have a. Yes. Who's that? He's the mortician. I invited him. Oh, you brought the mortician. OK, well, that's not going to seem strange to anybody at all. I figure he's a cretin. Why would I have a cretin like that near me if I had something to hide? Mm. Associating with a man like that's not going to make you look any better. Now, Frank! If I'm correct, when you were a boy, you were admitted into a mental institution? Is this correct? That's correct. But soon after, it was discovered that I wasn't mentally disabled. So they let me go. And they let me go with 
the proper paperwork clearing me of everything. I would like to add into evidence Article 1. Uh, Mac, will you please read this document? Mm-hmm. By the power of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Reed Mental Institution hereby decrees Frank Reynolds to not have donkey brains. What? what? That is an official document what is with a donkey that? brain on it? Well, it's written right here in plain English. Frank, would you like to clear this up for everybody? Well, all the kids in the neighborhood knew I got sent upstate. So they started calling me Frankie Donkey Brains. And it was very traumatic. Oh. So I got my mommy to drive me back up to the loony bin where they signed this official certificate exonerating me of all donkey brains. <laughs> Mm. Let's talk about... I ain't talking about nothing. This skull is Fort Knox. Why don't you trust therapists? I opened up to a therapist just once. I was a kid. I got into a fight. The doctor asked me question after question. Got me so scrambled up. Next thing you know... I was shanghaied upstate to a nitwit school. You know what a nitwit school is? I assume you mean a school for the mentally disabled. <sighs> yeah, not just for nuts in the head, bodies too. Back then, science was real crude. They stuck us all together. My roommate was a frog kid. You ever see a frog kid? A frog kid? <sighs> yeah, the place was windowless. There was a guard every ten feet. All the rooms had drains in the floors so they could hose us down. How terrible. Got my first kiss there. Frank? It was terrible. But not her. She was an angel. Always smiling. That's because she had no lips. But her mouth was still very much in play. Let's talk about the dishes. Oh, she died two weeks later. She thought she was a spaceman with a plastic bag for a helmet. Oh! Oh, oh you unzip me. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. I hate you. It's all coming back, you understand? I don't like it. I don't like to think about it. <laughs> oh. It's it's with a plastic bag for a helmet. Oh, oh, oh you unzip me. Oh, oh. Come on, come on, Frank. 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 Frank.